Hi everyone, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I am excited to give you another union read with a lot of <laughs> uh, more amazing messages. Um, at least three different themes came through again today. And before I even started, I was getting stuff on Gandhi. When I was shuffling today, it was 844 this morning and the higher self from the Syrian Starseed, dro Starseed deck dropped out. Today is 21 of the world. So it is about completion today, wrapping things up, and the day adds up to 35, which is the Wounded Warrior, and also Mary Magdalene comes up with 35 here. So we very much have the energies of completion today, and whether that be for the Divine Feminine or the Divine Masculine, this is the Reunion Read, so it's the Feminine within both of them, significant for Mary Magdalene, and completing things, and not needing... Um, not necessarily needing to get closure in order to walk away from something that's not for your highest good. So, something that um, I watched today made me think of Gandhi when I woke up this morning. And that Gandhi, you know, makes me remember back when he was fasting, because I, you know, experienced that, it's just 111. Of course, Gandhi brings up 111. Um, that he did not starve to sacrifice. He was loving his children, his brothers and sisters. Um, and I wanted to bring up um, the fact that sex is not love. Sex is an expression of love. It is not love. And it's wonderful to have that. But if you think about all the most profound people, really good, loving people that you know, is that the first thing you think about them? Probably not. Because that's not what it is. It's wonderful to have that that intimacy that a twin relationship does bring you, but it's not love. It's a for it's an expression of love. And again, just like I bring up um, in the lover's card in the deck, but the lover's card is about affection. It doesn't have to be about lovers. When you bring in the passion of the wands, yes, the lovers can definitely be very, very much passion. But lo the lovers is really about the affection, the intimacy between people. That's where the love is. So I want to bring this up about Gandhi. It wasn't that he was sacrificing, just like for your children. You don't sacrifice for your children. You do it out of love, not because you're feeling depleted. You do it because it fills you up to do it. Okay. So as soon as I looked up Gandhi and saw his pics, I, started, I wanted to cry right away, just because he's just so beautiful. Um, starvation to stop religious violence. Uh, the last time the last time he fasted, he was age 78, which is the Ten of Pentacles, the end of the deck. Um, it was 19. It was January 12, 1948. 48 is that Eight of Cups, the walking away and going within. Um, um, and he was assassinated that that day. Three bullets to the chest. Um, the people who assassinated him felt like he was too accommodating, and I guess he wasn't leading them where they thought the country should go, or that their people are the Hindus. He was born October 2nd, 1869. I definitely wanted to bring up some stuff about him because he certainly deserves that recognition. And there's a, there's a national holiday named after him. And let's see, Mahatma actually means high-souled or vulnerable. So I want you to take that into consideration, allowing yourself to be vulnerable. It's not about allowing yourself to be vulnerable to have sex. It's about being vulnerable and putting your guard down with everyone, loving everyone. This is about unconditional love. 1914, also called uh, Bapu, or father, or Gandhi Gandhiji, father of our nation. And he was Hindu. Um, so he fought, uh, he fought for self Swaraj, it was called. Swaraj, or I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, or self-rule, which is exactly what the, the twins are being called to do. Indian National Congress, uh, Congression in 1921, his vision of independent India based on religious pluralism. 1947, England granted independence, but granted it based on separation of the Hindu and Muslims as far as land, um, and basically it was, you know, he he preached nonviolent disobedience. And then at 912, and that was at 855, 846 Gandhi came up, and 46 again is coming up. That's the Six of Cups, you know, the innocence of the inner children. 
So Gandhi came up at 846, and then again at 855 when I went when I looked him up at his picks, and that's all about the truth. And then at 912, I just got State of the Union address. Okay, so State of the our Union address. So I was and I was attaching Gandhi to that, like let him be our State of the Union address for the twins. The um, when I went in for my inner child and my twin's inner child to see what they were up to today, um, right, right away I got my green eye that I see a lot, especially if I'm in the sunlight, that'll come up right away for me. It's like literally a green iris with the pupil in the middle, and that's kind of like a wormhole or a porthole. But right away um, it was filling up with the green, which is, green is associated with my, my color, um, my, I have a green aura with yellow, it's about healing, physical healing. And as soon as it filled up, I immediately got the message of healing the healing a hole in your heart, and it's making me want to um, cry. But I'll tell you why in a second. That black or the dark hole is not negative. It's just a space with which to bring new light, new perspectives, to fill it with light. Um, it's that you know, it's the antimatter and matter. It's the it's the polarity. It has to exist for light to exist. But the hole in the heart made me want to tear up because um, in writing a chapter that I wrote, in a chapter about um, my relationships growing up with boys and who I liked and how they were all attached to my father, um, when I was eight and my grandfather was dying in the hospital and my dad snuck me in because I wasn't old enough to go for visiting hours because my, my grandfather had had a heart attack and he wasn't doing well. He had lots of tubes you know, and stuff hanging out of him. So my brothers were allowed to visit because they were older, but I wasn't old enough. So my father snuck me in later by myself, which was very special for me, you know, between, with my mom, with my dad. But when we were sitting there in the waiting room waiting to go in for visiting hours, um, there was a little girl sitting there also waiting. And my dad told me that she had a hole in her heart. And at eight years old, you know, you can't really understand how can she have a hole in her heart and be alive, right? And then something I wrote in the chapter that I wrote about all these relationships growing up and how they're associated with to my dad, it was about um, how how um, I didn't realize that the hole that was left in my heart and not by my dad. Um, I won't go into that now. Hopefully, one day you'll be able to read that, but. Um, the hole that was left in my heart as a child, how that would be, how my life was to play out in order to fill that hole, okay? So again, that black hole as being a hole in your heart came up here with Gandhi. And your connection with your higher self, with God, with Source. Um, so when I went in for my inner child and my masculine's inner child, the feminine was grown on her side. She was reading on her bed. And then again, the masculine was under the bed again, scared. But instead of doing what he did before, he comes out and he crawls over to her side, because now he's a little bit more comfortable, because he already did it once. He crawls over to her side, and he, today he just wanted to cuddle. So he gets up in the bed with her, and she cuddles him while she's reading. So it was really, it was really beautiful. So sometimes we just need a cuddle that is not about sex, okay? And then, and this made me cry too, at 9.25, and that was at 9.19 when I was doing the inner child stuff, 9.25, and 25 came up again too, that's the Knight of Wands, of course 19 is the sun. At 9.25, to dream the impossible dream came up. And it wasn't about um, Martin Luther or anything like that, it was about man of La Mancha to fight the unbeatable foe to, to dream the impossible dream for those of you who are too young to remember to fight the unbeatable foe to bear with unbearable sorrow to run where the brave dare not go to write the unrightable wrong, to love pure and chaste from afar, to try when your arms are too weary, to reach 
Beyond reach, a bold star, this is my quest to follow that star, no matter how hopeless, no matter how far, to fight for the right without question or pause, to be willing to march into hell for a heavenly cause. And I know if I'll only be true to this glorious quest that my heart will lie peaceful and calm when I'm laid to my rest. And the world will be better for this that one man scorned and covered with scars still strove with his last ounce of courage to reach the unreachable star. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to hit that note, I don't know. But anyway, I, I just, I hadn't heard that song in so long, I couldn't believe I hadn't listened to that song in probably, I don't know, 30 years. But it, I just, it's just as soon as I heard it and I saw the picture of Andy Williams online and it was just 11-11, so I guess I'm, he's another person who's getting a tribute today. Um, as soon as I saw his face, his aura was shining so bright that that made me tear up. So if you guys don't know who Andy Williams, you can check him out. But you have to listen to him sing this song, okay? But so this brings up Man of La Mancha. And that was finished at 933. 33 is the Christ vibration. So then I'm getting into the reed. And La Mancha is the famous for the birthplace of Don Quixote. And La Mancha is a very fertile area in Spain. Um, the, the name La Mancha probably comes from, from what I saw from one of the dictionary entries there. Probably it was, it was probably Ian Wiki. Uh, but anyway, uh, there's an Arab name, La Mancha, that they believe it came from, which means wilderness. And then the Don Quixote came up because Don Quixote, as a message, came to me from my twin before. And I want to show you this is a, uh, a painting of Don Quixote. It's hard to read out the name of the artist. This was a, it's a very beautiful um, painting. All right, so I guess I'm going to put this up on the um, on the tag. Let me show you. I have a better picture of it. This is more of a light, the light picture. Okay, so this is a painting from Don Quixote, and I believe I'm not sure, but I think it's um, Giuseppe, Giuseppe um, Gambino from Italy. Um, this is the uh, signature in the painting. But um, I had this painting of Don Quixote from my parents because they had a collection of, from this artist. Um, there was um, several of them. And I have um, some extra paintings because I have a lot of paintings of my own. And um, I, was, I wanted to clean out my house and I actually uh, reached out to my twin before his birthday because in trying to clean out my house, it was something I wanted him to have because of the Don Quixote reference. But of course he didn't reply back. So he didn't get that beautiful painting. Anyway, so Don Quixote came up here and then we get into the read. It was, um, it was 946 when we did the read. So 46 came up here again. And the only major arcana that came up was Luna and Hermit from the Syrian Starseed deck. Luna was the moon, and Hermit is actually reflection in the Syrian Starseed deck. Um, the shadow did come up, but it was the card under the underlying reed, which I do use in the reed. So those were the only majors. And then two wands, four swords, three pentacles, and no cups came up today. The court cards that came up were the King of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Page of Swords. So a king, a queen, and a page, or a child, could be a message as well. And then the card after the read was the Nine of Pentacles, which isn't, yeah, what's the card after the read? 
was the Nine of Pentacles, which is not a court, court card, but like I said, it comes up for me most of the time as a person. It can be us as a sovereign or another person, but it also comes up very much about a teen or a 20 year old. Uh, the numbers that came up in the message of the codes were all about love partnership, happy ending, abundance and rebirth. So what a power packed bunch, the four of them. And the numbers just came up. There were no doubles that came up, but one, two, three, and then seven, eight, nine came up. Um, and then I was, I went off on a tangent with the, um, with the Don Quixote stuff, but I was back at 1010, which is that turn for the better. So 1010 came up again. And then three was the only number that came up in the coding really. Uh, and like I said, one, two, three, and seven, eight, nine. And you notice that seven, eight, nine adds up to 24 and then two, four, three came up. And also when I went to bed last night, I noticed the clock at 240, which is 24 also 39. 239 to 240 and then I got 243 today and then in 24 what I was getting is that 3 is the space between the words in 2 and 4 so there's a significance there and 24 being the queen of wands that creativity so we're bringing up artwork right the uh, the art the artist the the starving artist all right this is another template that this artist has to be starving or experience a lot of pain in order to be a really good artist. Because they really can understand the beauty because of the contrast. So something else that needed to come up here. The message having to do with the coding today, well, the theater came up and also 13 came up and the Queen of Swords, which is the person in mourning. Um, but it was really about uh, the AIDS, the AIDS or the theater to the nth degree have to do with either three, the AIDS are th either three queens of swords, okay, so for the twins, this is the union read, for, this is for the masculine and the feminine, the AIDS are three queen of swords, and that could also be an empress queen of swords, because it's the three, but it's about the divine feminine, and abundance so that's the empress love partnership happy ending and rebirth your aid is your empress your queen of swords your divine feminine theater and 13 came up as well right so theater i was just getting shakespeare and 3 13 with death you know there's always this death you know romeo and juliet there's always drama there has to be change the queen of swords in mourning see the divine feminine for abundance love partnership happy ending and rebirth then theater to the if, to the nth degree. And the re or the shaman comes up here, who's clear of thought. See the divine feminine. This is for the masculine. All right, so the aids are in death, transition and transformation, going through the portal, clear of thought. See the divine feminine as a reference or for aid. So it's definitely a message for the masculine there. You know, your, your divine feminine has all the information that you need. All you have to do is ask. So the read starts with the King of Wands. The King of Wands shaman in the Syrian star de seed deck with the shadow coming out behind him. Okay, so it's very much of the masculine energy allowing his shadow side to come out. The Queen of Pentacles may be financially drained, um, trying to get to a new life. The King of Wands offers to end her sovereignty or offers money to replace that which was lost. The hermit is wondering where his flame is, watching the other lovers and keeping quiet, possibly a vow of silence. He may be blocked from talking, hurting each other through control, narcissistic commitments, two bulls split, mirroring the walking away from each other at a staged impasse. Blue and red curtains in Africa, and then I was getting out of Africa, so you might wanna watch that. Entering the show, but where are the seats when you're out in nature? So I'm seeing someone walking out of a tent in Africa, you know, like on safari, and they're walking out like they're going into a theater, like looking for your seats. But if you're look, walking out of a tent into Africa, into nature, where do you go? There are no seats. That's just the image I was getting. There are no seats out in nature. Just be yourself. Don't ask someone else. It's like a bull who literally sees himself in the mirror. Does he charge himself or does he stop and go, huh? <laughs> 
How to go forward to get past that mirror is to stay still. Don't go anywhere, go within. Stop looking for the answer. It's you, you are the answer. For the emperor, his tiny dancer is a statue of a bride who gets all the light. He covets her because he wishes he were that, but he is his fear that holds him back to be exposed inside, inside out, to be vulnerable, to attack. All right, so it comes back to this being the soldier. He worries that he'll grow old and never have known true love or the curve of her back as the wand he holds digs deeper into that plate of fruit that the end of it's on. Origami's all over the floor, his antenna up, but he hasn't heard. Paramahamsa, great swan, in twos, fly by. Caesar says Rome wasn't built in a day, nor was the curve of her back or left, left butt and or hip with a, with a heart on it. It took me a long time to create that heart. Only white silk satin should drape around that work of art. Red knees and elbows, red knees and elbows, two butts each, double vision comes up, two sticks in one, and body double, all right in a row, 2117, okay? So that's the world and the star, okay? That's definitely fame there. Double vision, two sticks in one, and body double. Check butts and traits for similarities between you, toes and feet. Do you want to reflect a bull or someone who loves you? So are you, are you um, resonating with your karmics, bull traits that reflect to you? Or do you want to be with your twin who actually reflects love back to you, like your kids? that true authentic love. Do you want to hurt someone or do you want to give them pleasure? What do you think? What do you think that means? And then 39 lashes. One, dun, 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 two, dun, 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 three, dun, 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 four, dun, 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 five, dun, 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 six, dun, 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 seven, dun, 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 dun. But did you get my point? Do you see how long it takes to have 39 lashes? What does that mean for the masculine? I wash my hands of your demolition. Die if you want to, you innocent puppet. All right, so this is referencing back again to Jesus Christ Superstar. See a new perspective when you feel there are no spirits connecting. See a new perspective when you feel there are no options or choices. Hook, line, and sinker, unaware that he loves you, AKA jealousy. What do boys do on the playground? They pull your hair and call you names to get your attention. The emperor is insincere and jealous because he's not connected to his higher self. Your inner shaman for the masculines, not the narcissist or the emperor polarities to choose from. Stay at zero point without control of good or bad. And then wedding comes up as the underlying energy. And then uh, white wedding just came up again too. It's a nice day for what wedding all right that was coming up again and then deception was underneath that wedding coming up on the top so there's obviously some kind of uh issues with marriage or a wedding that's going to fall through but there's definitely deception and wedding coming up here nine of cups is out in the open someone very satisfied being with themselves alone and then ten of cups is also out in the open at work happy with work family the knight of cups feels guilt for ignoring love that was offered Unaware it was the hand, he's now aware that it was the hand of God, yet he continues to ignore that love. Even though now he's feeling guilty for having ignored that love, he continues every day to ignore the love that was handed to him. In brown fuzzy socks, dressing Egyptian for a fair or a show, or flaps while skiing to help keep out the cold and gold buckles. Riding white horses by the falls in the winter, how could he give her his twin's dream that she suggested to his karmic. Someone insecure about their skinny white legs, bony knees, and thin calves or no calves or no lower leg would kill her to find out he did something with another, ice castles. So it's bringing up specifically some of the things that I actually 
wrote to my twin in the letter where I confessed to him how I felt. That he may have taken those ideas of romantic things to do and given them to someone else. And then synchronicity comes up as underlying energy number 87, which is the reverse of the 78, which came up for Gandhi. Synchronicities. And then underneath synchronicities was healing number 66, which is the queen of pentacles. So it's much about the, the feminine energy and her being in her power and very abundant. The King of Pentacles looks up at the fires burning under the midnight sky. And King of Pentacles, as you guys all know, doesn't have to be an earth sign, but it can be. And earth is Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. I'm sorry if I don't say the signs all the time, but I know most of you guys already know all the signs, being that you're twins. And so for those of you who don't, I'll try to be more aware of that. Challenged by the devil and one. This is coming from the masculine perspective. Challenged by the devil and one. But did I? The gesture's court, a horse on loan, a manipulative female, just needy for attention. Her hair perfectly coiffed, pillar with lace around it, with coffee filter on top, and no flame or torch, like the Olympic pillar with its torch in it. There is no flame there. Shadows of the past come in, like the street shadows in Ghost, poking and prodding you until you're shocked into submission. Gold and lace curtain you cannot afford. Your so-called Guinevere is out of control, Lancelot. She has all the right flags, including the red one. Did you defeat the enemy or did you defeat yourself, your twin? Good and evil, who's to say? There is dissension amongst the ranks, abuse from the pillars. Emperor jealousy detoxed by shaman or brought out of into his shaman to see himself from the outside in. Recently at the full moon, the wounded warrior had a face-off. And that came up, brought out the movie Face-Off. You know, it's Nicolas Cage. With athletic King of Pentacles reversed, who's coming up here as a greedy man or just someone who's very ungrounded because they lost status and money. So there may be, um, so it's coming up as the wounded warrior, so it can be the masculine or the feminine here who's facing off with this this king of pentacles um, full moon detox of the king of wands who's shaman or emperor of jealousy and insincerity a wedding deception while grounding and integrating synchronicities okay so for any masculines who are still in our marriages while well, connecting with their twin all the time and now seeing the synchronicities everywhere when their partner and kids are around the foundation is the knight of wands there's a small flame lit for the knight of wands burning a candle at both ends. The Queen of Wands either looks at what she has and wonders as if, wonders if it's enough, or the Queen of Wands is looking away while he is looking what he has to see if it's really enough. Not releasing emotions that are stuck, either one of them. Worrying a lot, this may be chronic, so maybe chronic worrier, which is all about anxiety issues. She's thinking about a wedding, the Queen of Wands here, uh, the white wedding. So I don't know if she's trying to get married to a masculine because she's been with him for a while, um, but it's not happening. And centrally, he surrenders his bad fortune, inspiring him, and I was having a really sour stomach for the first part of this read, um, to be manipulative. His bad fortune with the situation now is, ended up inspiring him to be manipulative and insecure now wanting to offer something healthy the challenge being the queen of swords and the queen of swords on her has a tired king of wands reversed you know who's healing and trying to rise above a split and deceit standing up for themselves in power and their own sovereignty to receive good news and or possibly a visitor so this could be the king of wands or the queen of swords masculine and feminine can be one, one or the other can be a karmic as well, but that's the energy we're going on because it's the union read. The emperor is out of his mind with the king of pentacles all about money and now walking away to love. So we have a king of wands and a king of pentacles here now. So I was definitely getting yesterday, I believe, too, that there could be someone who's, there could be a twin. It doesn't have to be the twin who's getting married or this wedding. It can have to do with some, a partner or brother that's close to the masculine because I was getting 
a masculine standing up as the best man. And it can be vice versa. So there's the King of Wands and King of Pentacles at play here. So however it fits your situation, and if it doesn't, the read may not be for you. So now taking risk to pass on downloads for both the masculine and the feminine, the Wizard of Oz in the hot air balloon. Seeing synchronicities, the King of Cups with sudden epiphanies of the Holy Grail of love, decision made to tell the truth of detox and what they had to go through. So whether that's them or someone around them. The Queen of Swords is talking about bad decisions and deliberating too long. So the, the Divine Feminines who are speaking their truth, just talking about this stuff, helping others. Dropping burdens of needing closure after dumped or dumped another. Judgment Day, which was yesterday, for Emperor was overwhelmingly stressful about fantasy family, passion and elbow pain and DNA, money out of thin air, and women alone crying, feeling him and his partner having sex, talking and going within, getting thrown out, unable to see his children, or a new love that's destined, right? So someone may have gone to court and had to like come out with their truth, or it could just be a family or work situation. Soon the truth is out, free to open his heart and go within, to find patience even when not satisfied, that he is actually an angel. And it's 3113. 31 is that five of wands, that expansion energy, and then the, the contraction energy of the 13, which is, which is death and change. So in the knowing about justice, truth and balance, taking a leap to choose the twin path. Union is seen here as the hermit with the light, detoxing injustice, and the Leo, potentially, or ego, expressing self all the time, enough. And for strong expressions of passionate feelings. All right, so it's either um, this Leo or ego, and it could even be the divine feminine that masculine seems that way. You know, it's enough already. Um, but it could be karmic Leo, but also it could be his own ego. He needs to shut himself up. Enough. And for strong expressions of passionate feelings expressed. Soulmate comes up here as well as keep an open mind for the union. So it's masculine and feminine to keep you know, an open mind that your partner may differ than what you're used to. Um, but soulmate, yes, this, this is your soulmate. Around the union or how it is seen is Trinity, a workplace or a creative place or school or a church, co-creating. The king of swords is okay being out in the cold with lover moving homes or unstable. Both the masculine and the feminine need to clear blocks around news or messages of unhappy families or endings of the emperor that he's okay but still not moving forward with you or third party or being stubborn and overindulging. So you're, if you hear these stories, you know, don't, this is 3D stories that you're not supposed to listen to or pay attention to because it's his journey that he has to go through and learn um, and has to be ready to come forward on his own accord. So the love partnership comes up here for the union as well as abundance, happy ending, love partnership, and even more so than all four of those things came up music. Okay, so of course I hope I brought you enough music today. <laughs> Sorry if you didn't want to listen to me sing, but it is what it is. Destiny of variety. There's a destiny of variety here. Maybe the masculine sees his divine feminine as three girls in one. And peace on top of that. Working on new love. The prize with the cherry on top. The destiny of the wounded warrior, queen of cups, to have peace and love. The divine masculine prisoner of militant manipulator, or divine feminine imprisoned by manipulative cancer, woman, or a drama queen. Sovereign starting over in love with opportunity or invitation to 30, pi 30 pieces of silver. To be betrayed, dumped, or to end pain once and for all. New passion for sharing and holding on loosely some stability and building a solid foundation for the twins or starting over with kids, a new perspective with them and work. The King of Wands is passionately moving to get things done, so physical errands and stuff like that, or to see the light or to get, to get things done to get to the hermit, to see the light of the hermit at work by the full moon. So this is something the master may have cleared already by the full moon or had kind of like a deadline for himself as the full moon. Expressing feelings and detoxing, surrendering. And the center card is the two of pentacles in this deck is all about surrender, it was just three, four, four, four. 
and 3443. So 34 is the Eight of Wands, and the uh, 43 is the Three of Cups. So it's very much expressing your feelings of passion and the arrows of love. And then the 43, the Three of Cups of coming together. Enjoy. What was the energy today? Today is 35. Okay, so yesterday was 34. All right, so the King of Wands Shaman at the Full Moon Detox, like I said, moving quickly with passion to get physical errands done to surrender to downloads, taking a risk with the Queen of Swords, the Hermit with the Truth, in working with crystal energy at his workplace or other, could be a church or school, something like that, with news or message to give her in her sovereignty, possibly an opportunity to work with pain literally work with others in, in, in healing pain. New love is just the cherry on top coming up here. A passion for sharing, healing and stability and balanced moderation. Finding sovereignty through psychic work. The Divine Masculine is busy but feeling alone at his workplace and surrendering to, through, surrendering to the truth of the messages that he receives or hears. All right, so now I have a special sand art treat for you. I didn't get a whole bunch of different messages like I usually do, and I meant to read this up front, but I forgot to. But you're going to love this uh, message. All right, so the sand art was done at 2.42 a.m. last night. I was up really late. The first thing I got was, you ain't nothing but a hound dog. Okay, so hound dog comes up here as floating through the water, you know, with like his long nose. <laughs> but then that's, that was it for the hound dog. This story was all about the bear. And as I started this, it was 12.05 this afternoon, a huge truck went by north, very heavy, you know, like a bear. So there's a bear in the ice floating downstream. Some tents on the side, on the mountains, and then all of a sudden there's a waterfall up ahead. He puts out his paws to try to slow down his awakening process. Now notice the bear is hibernating right now. But the falls keep coming. There's no breaks to this ride. It's getting closer and he sees rough waters below, as well as some rocks falling, unstable ledge. But still he, but still he puts his paws forward and angels are there for him. And a man who's lost his tent on the side, the man looks over the edge. As the bear gets closer, the man disappears. As the bear's fear grows, the fear grows great arousal of the waters down below yet the angel is still there and as he approaches the angel is gone he never asked her for help but as he as he grows nearer to the edge of the water the waters below become so aroused with emotion they connect to a piece of land at the top of the falls and started to expand the mountains below by the time he got to the edge, the mountain had grown so much, it almost touched the edge of where he was. It's like a dinosaur was giving him a hand, something from a faraway land, from another time and dimension, working in unison until the job was done. Even a light shone down upon him, like an old hermit with a very big long head, whose face just lit up as if he were graced. He extends his arms out to pull in the last rock and dirt. And with a final emotional pull, a connection was locked in by this hermit for the bear. It was now safe for the bear to cross and come out of hibernation, hands across the water, heads across the sky. Then the hermit floated away with one final release. The bear found some peace, but also found a friend. There was also a beached whale that happened to be on the other side. So the bear went to go check him out, but left his legacy of old on the other side in an urn. After being in that coat all winter and down the river, he couldn't wait to get it off and check out that cute whale. He didn't give a crap that they were different. 
at least they were the same, at heart they were the same, that she has reflected to him across the sands of time and rescued his life. <laughs> so tell me what you think of that. It was really great. So I'm going to pull you some oracle cards too. It was just 40 and then 40 of four. And when I was at the gym, I just got back from the gym, sorry, I'm like this, and I got my lifeguard. I have so many sweatshirts because my daughter was a uh, sweatshirt hoarder and then she'll leave everything at home. So I end up taking them because I like all her sweatshirts. So I got lifeguard today. So, but when I was at the gym, all of the numbers when I was on the elliptical, get this, the hour of my elliptical was synced to the clock exactly, like to the minute. I couldn't believe it. And it wasn't the same hour, but it was the minutes were exactly um, synced. I mean, that never happens. <laughs> like, how could it be? And I kept checking minute by minute. There's no way it's gonna change right on the minute. It's gonna like change, it's gonna alter slightly. No, nope. it was perfectly in sync. Very cool. So the Ascension deck here, and then 4004 was the Page of Cups and the Emperor, again, that came up yesterday, I think it was. Clear the line. <sighs> Take a deep breath, guys. So who wants to come up today? I'm gonna to ask Gandhi. Today is um, February 21st, 2019. Gandhi, would you um, bless us with your presence? <sighs> For everyone watching and the best and highest good of all is concerned. Mahatma Gandhi, what do we need to know? What do we need to learn? Take all, make me take all these cards out. Uh-oh. There's a number that I need to know, I guess. Animals is at the bottom. Number two. And the high, the higher self, and the high priestess is number two. The affirmation is, I honor and respect all animals. So that's Gandhi's first message for you guys. To make sure to be good to all the little creatures. Okay, so the three main cards that came up for you guys, which came up yesterday, was the Huna Prayer. But I don't think I'm going to read that to you again. It came up yesterday, number eight. The affirmation is uh, the affirmation is your Huna prayer. Uh, the second card that came up is Jesus, number 40, which I just mentioned brought, was brought up, is the Page of Cups. And the third card is Lord Maitreya, number 30, which again, which is the union number of the Four of Wands. We have eight, 40, and 30. And of course, eight is the zero point. It's the perfect balance. And then we, as I put the Huna prayer down, it's next to the bottom card, so we have 28 here, two and eight. So two and eight is the twins, the two of wands, the two of flames, and the Syrian Starseed deck. I'm gonna to read to you Jesus and Lord Maitreya. And again, Jesus is 40, it's the God behind the four energy, and it's the Page of Cups. Jesus came from Venus, planet of love. He was sent to earth to carry the Christ light at a time when the energy was very low. He incarnated as a scene and received spiritual teachings throughout his childhood and adult life. Then he underwent many initiations to prepare his energy centers to carry the vibration of unconditional love. This card reminds you that all challenging people and situations are tests to prepare you for ascension. To pass these tests, you need to respond to them with unconditional love and balance. Remember, there's only love. The affirmation is I respond with unconditional love today. Lord Maitreya is number 30. And that says, and again, 30 is that four of wands. It's the God energy behind the three. So we have the God energy behind the Empress and the God energy behind the Emperor. And so if you don't want to use God, you can use love energy, source energy, higher creator, whatever you want. Spirit doesn't matter. Um, Lord Maitreya is head of the Great White Brotherhood. So here we have white reference again today, that purity, uh, whose beings, the beings whose auras radiate the pure white of integrity and high intention. Drawing this card suggests it's time for you to examine every area of your life carefully and practice purity of thought, word, and deed. You're asked to be an example of right living, for your light will then draw many to the ascension way. Your reward is the peace that passes all understanding and the joy of flowing smoothly on your higher path in life. Okay, so white light today and high intention. And go back and 
you know, look at your own words, thoughts, and deeds, and just check yourself. It's not about punishing yourself or being hard on yourself because we're getting away from that. It's just being conscious, being present in the moment, to be an example of right living. You know, you can't ask others to do something that you're not doing yourself. Just allow your light to shine, be you, not someone else, and your reward is the peace that passes all under, surpasses under all the understanding and the joy of flowing smoothly on your higher path. The affirmation, I connect with the Great White Brotherhood and radiate pure white light today. All right. So there was three cards there, and I want to see how many cards they made me pull all together. One, two, three. Okay. So um, 14 cards came out. I got three and three first. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I got three, three, and eight. And that's funny because that's one of my numbers, three, three, eight. Um, and 33 is the Christ vibration, and 38 is the Queen of Cups, which is very much the Divine Feminine, the Mary Magdalene energy, her, her loving energy. So we have Jesus, 33 is the Christ vibration, and Mary Magdalene. So I love how they bring that up. Thank you, Gandhi. All right. So the other three cards, just to show you real quickly what came up, Archangel Metatron uh, for the Masculines, Paul the Venetian as well, number 27, the Ace of, I'm sorry, Metatron's 27, which is the Ace of Wands, Paul the Venetian's 37, which is the King of Cups, and Marco's 47, which is Heaven in Your Eyes, the Seven of Cups, it's an 11. So we have a 9, a 1, and then 11. And then with the eight cards, we had Serapis Bay, number 41 is the Ace of Cups, Mother Mary, who came up yesterday, the Aquamarine Mantle, which is 52, which is the Queen of Swords, which always comes up for us, Hilarion, which is 46, the Children in the Garden, Neptune, number 19, the Sun, the Gold and Silver Violet Flame, number 4, of the Emperor, Water, number 15, of the Shadow, Dolphins, number 23, of the King of Wands, who's in this read today. And 24, who's the Queen of Wands. And I brought up the 24, Lemurian Healing. So I love that. They're all really positive. So it's the King and Queen of Wands we're coming up here. And the Queen of Swords as well. Which is very much always comes up as the Karmics with the Masculine and the King and Queen of Wands and then the... the um, the Queen of Swords as the feminine, which is going to be switching. Because what happens naturally in the situation is that then the the Queen of Swords may become the, the karmic when they're no longer together, and then the energies of the masculine and feminine coming together. So some really nice energies from here. All right. And the dolphins came up again. That was nice. Dolphin and water and Lemurian ha healing. Neptune. So a lot about water. And, aqua and Mer Mother Mary's aquamarine mantle. There's so much about the oceans here. And I was talking about the bear and the water. I want to bring up that the picture of my daughter. The, um, the energy portraits that I did of my daughter. Um, she's kind, it looks kind of shamanist. Uh, shamanistic, the work that I did on her face. Um, but if you don't see it, it's actually a whale. So you might want to look back um, on my tags on my page with all my videos to see my daughter's work. But those, the picture of my daughter and the picture of myself with my eye, those are both um, energy portraits that I did. So if you're interested in one of my energy portraits, I really enjoy doing them. I get your, your energy psychically, and I use your energy signature to expand on it creatively and intuitively as well. And then I'll get a psychic message for you, too. And if you want that psychic message, incorporate it into the picture again. I'll do that as well. But I actually start from a portrait, one of your favorite pictures of you and or your twin. It doesn't have to be you or your twin. But anyway, if you're interested, all my information is below, as well as any coaching, anything you want from me is down below. My CD, Ashes, Twin Towers to Twin Flames, is still out there. It's um, um, iTunes, CD Baby, Google Play, um, and uh, Amazon, all the major places. Ashes, Twin Towers to Twin Flames. Okay, 
So let's see here. We got the past life deck. Take another deep breath. Clear and align. Clear and align. Clear and align. All right, from Gandhi, please. Today is February 21st, 2019. For everyone watching, the best and highest good of all is concerned. Um, the hot economy. What is it in you to know? What is it in you to learn? Okay. <laughs> All right, Celtic comes up upside down here. Okay. So let go of this energy. Right? The cross, cross is a, the cross to bear is a connotation of something negative, right? Blocking the portal. It's blocking, um, the ability of you to fill that portal with light. And again, the Neanderthal always comes up for me in that card. All right. So first, um, trees came out here for you guys. So this is a breakthrough. Allow the sun to shine in. And of course, being out in nature. And then three cards with very similar coloring came up between two that were not. And that was leaving or travel, uh, medicine man or woman upside down, and then authority figures. Whoops. All right, like this. Okay. Um, so the first thing I was getting from the medicine man or woman is that you don't need a medicine man or woman because you are a medicine man or, man or woman. So be careful of, of who you trust your, your physical health to and your mental and spiritual health to, as well as any alternative energy healers, okay? But um, I'm seeing because of some court dealings also that the, the masculine is, it can be feminine as well, but it's been more of a masculine issue that there are health issues because of the, some court issues that the masculine's been going through. It was just 5222 and now 5225. So 5225 is the Queen of Swords, and then that reflects the Knight of Wands. So as the Queen of Swords is in the morning energy and speaking her truth, the masculine is in that very physical, busy energy of the Knight of Wands, right? It can be a very passionate energy, overly passionate. But we have court issues, but this gavel has lots of sparkling little lights around it, so it looks like a positive, a positive result for the masculine there, okay? Because it has fairy dust around it. Um, somebody may be leaving. Traveling salesman energy comes up again for Oz about the Wizard of Oz when he was coming through. And I remember what it was. I couldn't remember if he was a traveling salesman, but they were coming through the fair, right? In the beginning of the Wizard of Oz before the tornado came. It's been a long road. That song go? It's a long road. I can't get the tune. And no, no, it's a what is the word? It's not that. Because then it goes, and a many a winding road. Many winding roads. You know what I'm talking about, though. Is it, he's my brother, is coming up as well, so, he ain't heavy, he's my brother, there may have been a, a suit within a practice between partners or brothers or close friends, a doctor could be involved too since we have medicine man or woman, 
I could be a traveling salesman. Somebody might have scammed them. And there was a suit involved. So that's definitely coming up. And it could have to do with a shaman or somebody in alternative medicine. But they were actually, you know, it was a scam. And there may be an authority figure that was involved in a scam as well. Then we have um, karmic relationship reversed. So that means an end to a karmic relationship. Done. And actually this matches with the trees. Okay, there's a breakthrough. And an end to a karmic relationship. And then there were some extra cards that wanted to come out, just to bring up. Um, there's no baby. <laughs> and then finances. So I don't know if somebody had a miscarriage, or it was a false alarm, or somebody wasn't the dad. All those t different situations come up with that. And then finances. There may have been concerns about the finances around getting pregnant again, or just around having a baby in general. Somebody could have had an abortion as well. And then we have 30 pieces of silver here. There might have been a betrayal where someone had an abortion and didn't tell the father. Or got pregnant by somebody else and didn't tell them. We're trying to play it off as their kid, that kind of thing. So there's definitely a betrayal here with the 30 pieces of silver. And as Mary Magdalene would say, it wasn't 30 pieces, it was 35. <laughs> All right, so that's the past life deck. And then for the journey of love. Journey of love. Take another deep breath. Caroline, take another deep breath. This is February 21st, 2019. For everyone watching, the best and highest good of all this concern, Mahatma Gandhi. What is it that we need? What do we what do we need to know? What do we need to learn? I know he's telling me to slow down. The bottom of the deck is intimacy, which is perfect because I was just bringing that up as far as phys physical sexuality versus intimacy. That love is not physical sex, that love is intimacy. And that's 35. Perfect. From Mary Magdalene. It's the true intimacy I'm getting of being in each other's energy, in their space. And the cards that came out, we got three here. We have coming together, which is 66, which is the Queen of Pentacles. And for me, this is a lot about an inflamed spine. So sometimes if you're having back issues, I, that reminds me of that. And of course, the 35 is the Wounded Warrior. So if you are the Wounded Warrior, or if you're going through stress in a court case or that kind of thing, you're going to have flare-ups because of the stress. And the full moon, like literally, I was my back was burning for the full moon. And as soon as we got to the day after the full moon, it released. I mean, there's other things I did, so it might have helped. But it was just automatic, just gone all of a sudden. So just to show you how, you know, how much the, these energies are affecting our, our physical bodies. Um, 24 also comes up, which is the queen of wands, the space between the words the catalyst, right? And then we have 54, Earth Angel. 54 is the Page of Swords. I love the colors in that card. Earth Angel I'm getting is about the Divine Feminine, um, letting all of the layers of her come out, her, all of her beautiful colors. Don't be shy. Allow all of your colors, even the colors that you don't like as much as the others. Allow them all to be seen. Someone might actually like that part of you that you don't. And there's a moon in that card as well. All three of these cards are very different. I'm going to show, the, show them to you. They're very different in color and contrast and texture. Okay. Like, this one's very smooth and feminine and flowing. But it's got a little bit of texture in it. It's not perfectly smooth. This has no movement in it. It's completely still, but smooth. It's like a painting on a wall. It's not real. And then this one is stress.
So it's saying to you that the space between the words is not real. It's a painting. The catalyst isn't real. It's two-dimensional. That here is your divine mask. This is showing you. This is the divine masculine energy. I know it's the queen of pentacles coming up here. This could even be the divine feminine energy when she's stressed. But it's getting like a uh, pain coming out from the spine is what I always get from that. And then this is saying that the karmic energy, the 24 of the queen of wands, is two-dimensional. And then we have earth angel here of the page of swords. So it could be either way. You know, one could be the mask and one could be the feminine. The mask could be his feminine. He could be the one with all the flowing colors and shy. And he needs to let his colors come out. And the feminine could be this and her masculine, okay, with inflamed muscles because she's being too much in her masculine. She's working too much and being too stressed. All right, so let's see what I can get through as far as reading these. I don't know if I can get through reading through all of them. We're already at 60 minutes. 66. So it's saying, um, don't fill in the spaces between the words when you come together. Don't assume he's saying something that he's not, or she's saying something she's not. Be an earth angel. Make sure you communicate clearly. You and another soul are coming into each other's worlds. It's a karmic destiny that is unfolding, an expression of divine plans set in motion many lifetimes ago. The destiny may have a romantic purpose. It may have a sacredness that is sexual. It may have a sacredness that is creative, tender, about learning self-esteem or courage. It may bring a gift of enduring friendship and loyalty or be an expression of a passing flash of divine force that shakes your foundations and helps move you out of a situation which would have consumed your light with tediousness and playing small. It was just uh, 010201. Okay, so the magician and the high priestess. The coming together is happening, however. No is of love. And notice how there was one... It was 010201, the space between the words, you know, is source. Don't make it two dimensional. Know it is of love. The oracle brings guidance. You're going to be moved by love, whether it's long term or fast and furious. It is love and it has meaning. Let it be what it is, and don't try to force it to become what you think it must be. It has worth as you do. Enjoy the experience and know it serves your growth. The poem says, two energy patterns came together and shared frequency in a field of possibilities, and there was resonance. Then we have spaces between the words, which we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to read that one. That's 24. Doesn't wanna be seen. <laughs> seen or heard because oh the movie I saw last night never heard what was it called yeah never heard was the name of the movie I saw last night the spaces between the words when we look for guidance we often look for words that clarify reassure and help us find our authentic path through the chaos Yet there's also guidance in the spaces between the words, between each letter, between all the happenings in our lives, where there's nothing to be said, where there are no lines to be colored in, where there's just openness. Those are the times when we need to freestyle. We need to do or to not do, based on what is happening for us right at that moment. Often there's far less to do than we think. Often we don't need to think. There's a space forming around you now. Sometimes when we sense this subconsciously, we feel exhilarated and excited anxious and nervous and not even sure why. There's a sense perhaps that we wouldn't mind having a map of this unknown terrain, or perhaps we're happy to wing it and make it up as we go. Either way, there's space to just be, and it is a receiver for the divine presence. If you have a lot of space of, n of unknowing around you now, or within you, then just know there's a lot of divine presence to be received. It can't be explained really, it happens between the words, and yet without it, 
there wouldn't be any words or any guidance at all. The oracle speaks to you. Enter the space and let it go, or let go. For your time to receive is upon you. Allow yourself to receive. Be blessed. And the poem reads, reads, I can't talk. I'm sorry. My, my brain and my mouth have never been well connected, so I'm sorry if I trip over my words. My mouth really wasn't meant to speak a lot of words, I don't think. The poem is called Day Birth. The eastern rise of time on newborn wings bursts out across the lifeless crowd and sings its climb to heights unknown of beauty, warmth, and power upon its throne to fade again in western sky and only for a moment lie before it takes its course again to breathe once more in heart of man. Okay, so take it a day at a time. And I'm going to read the other one to you too. Earth Angels 54. Take it a day at a time and allow yourself the space. You don't have to fill your space with everything. This is what, why, where I get my messages from is the space between the words. Earth Angel, number 54. It starts out with a poem. Earth Angel, you carry the world in your robes and heaven in your hair. You bring me a special gift now, responding to my prayer. Though sometimes I may feel that I am struggling or alone, you come to me now and carry me into my heart. You bring me home. Even from the darkest depths, I rise up to meet your light. I cannot be separated from the divine. I cannot be separated from the light. This oracle brings the message of divine guidance. You have an angel with you, watching over you and assisting you in response to your heart's call for help, love, and protection for you and your beloveds. Okay, and this is paralleling to the sand art today. Your prayers have been answered, have been heard and answered. Okay, never heard last night. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Keep praying each day from your heart and know you're safely carried on the journey of love. If you've been worrying about a loved one, know that this protection extends to them as well. You're asked to pray more and worry less. And worry came up for even the Queen of Wands, okay? Allowing love to just be. The poem reads, Thank you for walking with me. Before you climbed up here, I was afraid. I had risked everything by holding out my hand. And now, as I share your joy and excitement at being a friend, I realize I may have to run to catch up with you. Okay? So really beautiful. So I hope you get all the messages. They definitely parallel between everything. So I'm glad they came out the way they did. I have to show you the picture and of the read. This is a full read today. Be good, you guys. Rise and be love, would you? Take care.